When Adidas Eyewear wanted to test out its newest performance prescription eyewear, they needed rugged terrain and media testers with terrible vision. So it's time to hop on a plane and head to Italy. This is a runner's weekend in the Dolomites. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is a little bit before 8 a.m. here on a Tuesday morning in Italy. I am in the Dolomites. Just spent last night at the Casa Salaris Hotel getting together with everyone here on this trip with Adidas Eyewear. They hooked me up with some brand new prescription specs to check out as we go and run for a couple of days through these hills. Really looking forward to it. The drive up here from Venice was absolutely breathtaking. Can't wait to do some running on the trails. First, we gotta get all checked out, get some breakfast, and then we'll head out for the first run of the day, a cable car run. All right, we're getting a nice and easy start running a couple of kilometers to get over to the cable car. It's beautiful already out here. We're just getting started. Over there, we got a glacier. I think it's called, it sounds like marmalade. Marmalade, I think that's the name of that. I think that's the tallest point in the Dolomites. For today, I think we're running along this ridge and then we're gonna run that way. So today, my goal is to one, not get lost here in the Dolomites. We have two guides with us, so I think that won't be a, too much of a problem. My other goal is to pace myself for the day. It's early, we're having fun, no need to erase it. Get the poles out, walk all the climbs, and just have fun out here. I think this is gonna be a big climb coming up. We're almost to the pass over there. 7,500 feet. That was a lot of rocks. We just came through. This part is still pretty technical, even though it looks nice and flowy. And it is sometimes, but you never know when you're gonna hit a patch of loose gravel through here. So many rocks. 
been a lot of fun. Can you imagine passing all the winter here? So, oh, no. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, really. Wild. Made it to the next stop, which is a gondola ride. finished with lunch with these amazing views that are up here. It's incredible. It's just everywhere you look. Unbelievable. The GoPro battery has died and it was accidentally recording for a long time and I killed it. So it's not going to be a ton of running footage as we get to the next spot. So we're going to have to settle for a montage of mountain views. guys we made it for the day that's where we'll be staying for tonight we're just gonna wait here at the top of this hill for the rest of the group so we can all run in together but man the views just don't end it's infinite mountains here infinite mountains infinite views it's breathtaking good morning everybody it is a little bit before 9 a.m. here on a Wednesday, still in the Dolomites in Italy. Had a wonderful night's sleep, fantastic dinner here at the Refugio. Absolutely amazing. Feeling a little bit sore this morning in the hips especially. Yesterday was a pretty rigorous day, so much fun. Today should be a little bit easier of a day, but we're still here in the mountains, so it's not exactly gonna be a cakewalk, but wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, look at this place. It's fantastic. Everyone's getting kind of checked out of the place and uh, we'll be getting ready to run here any minute now. Should be a good day. Our through today has been pretty sketchy. Pretty hard to move quickly through here, but looks like it's gonna get a little bit more runnable in just a second. But unfortunately, it's gonna be uphill from then, so it's time to get the poles out. We started out the day at about 7,100 feet. Right now, we're at 74, 40. There's a lot of incline left. This is just straight up. That's good. 600 plus foot climb. Oh. Climbing up, 
run along the ridge for a little bit. So a little bit more straight up. But we're moving, always moving. We made it through the top of the ridge. Hey, man. Just over 8,000 feet. Wow. It's beautiful up here. Yeah. Woo! This is one of the most magnificent views. All right guys, I think most of the big climbs and descents are done. Now it should be pretty much rolling, cruising through until we get to the next refugio for lunch. Pulls back out. Got another little incline here. Hopefully it's a little incline. It's pretty steep, but oh man, look at this dude on the bike setting it. Yo! Just finished with lunch. We got one more leg to run while we're here. Should only be about an hour or so. We're all very full and a little bit tired, but should be a good time. All right, now we've come down from the forest and now we're gonna go through these gravel fields. You know, everyone made it sound like the after lunch run would be so easy. But I'm scrambling over rocks again. This is it, we made it to the last refugio. All right. All right. I'm gonna get some extra credit in here. I'm gonna go up one more peak. We were over there, right before lunch. Come a long way. All right, what goes up must go down. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get down this. I can hardly figure out how to get up it. Like a cat, I got stuck up a tree. We're 
arm up all the way back. Good morning, everybody. It is about 9 a.m. here on a Thursday in Italy. We are about to get checked out of this refugio. And then a lot of us are heading out, spreading out, going back to homes, extending trips. I'm extending this trip as well. Uh, I'm gonna have one day back in Venice. Before I do, I gotta film some more time lapses. These mountains are absolutely gorgeous. I guess I kind of knew that Venice was a city of canals, but I didn't realize it was like 100% canals. But once you get on the island, there are no streets at all. No cars, no bikes even. The walkways are narrow and filled with people. The weather was warm and sunny, and there is water everywhere. I had a route preloaded into my watch, but even so, Venice isn't exactly laid out in a grid. So I did get lost a couple of times. It's a meandering nest of hallways and corridors. And a lot of times I had to walk, but on tired legs, I didn't mind a bit of extra rest here and there. And running was the perfect way to see this entire city. Now that I had a bit of a feel for the city, I showered up and went on the search for views, pizza, and gelato. The day quickly turned into night and Venice took it to a whole other level. Good morning, everybody. It is a little bit after 7 a.m. here in Venice, Italy, on a Friday, the last day of my trip. I'll be able to get one more run in. And I'm gonna do the same route I did yesterday, but it should be a pretty different route if you think about it, because the city is still sleeping. It's almost kind of like whisper quiet out here. Everyone's very hushed and mum. And it's absolutely gorgeous for running.
the city is definitely starting to wake up. Just ran by one of the stations. Floods of people are starting to come in. Cruise ship groups are packing up and heading out. Definitely lively city now. Nearing the end of the route now. I'm gonna get back to the hotel room, pack up, and go home. But man, Italy delivered way more than I expected. I feel like I saw a world in a week. And this is certainly an adventure between all the terrains in the mountain that I saw down to the city center in Venice. This trip is something that I will not soon forget.